What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology. Today we will finish off with the friend signs of planets. We discussed about the Suras, okay? The Sun, Moon, Mars and Jupiter. How they perform in the friend signs of each other. Yes, these four are friends as we said. And then now we will discuss about Venus, Mercury and Saturn. These three are friends, but these are known as Asuras, okay? So, before beginning, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will save you from the Asuras. <laughs> okay, so, what will we discuss today? We will discuss the dignity of planets, okay? As we have been discussing, if you have not watched it, please go and watch it back again, okay? Now, Venus, Mercury and Saturn are very good friends, okay? So let's see how they perform when they are placed in each other's signs, okay? We will discuss about placement of every planet in every sign later in detail, specifically. But here I am just discussing about how in general do they behave because friends help each other's agenda, right? That is why they are friends. For example, why are Venus and Saturn considered best friends? Because they have the same agenda. is to give others, do for others, okay? And Mercury is also the planet of socializing people, other people, meeting people, communication. So these three get along very well with each other, okay? And that is why they do quite well in each other's signs, except Venus, okay? So, uh... What, where should we start? Let's start from Venus only, okay? Now, Venus, if we consider the friend signs, it will be Gemini for Mercury and Virgo also for Mercury, then Capricorn and Aquarius, right? These four are the signs which are ruled by Mercury and Saturn. So, Venus does quite good in the sign of Gemini. Only thing is, it becomes very much flamboyant and it becomes very flashy and it becomes at sometimes it can become a bit unstable because Gemini is a dual sign okay and the person can have a tendency to go from one relationship to the other okay and Gemini is also the sign of laughter and traveling and communication and fun okay so these people at times if they do not find these okay then within the relationship okay for example fun laughter etc then they might feel i don't want to stay in this relationship anymore and then they might uh, go and jump back to uh, a new partner okay or they can go to somebody uh, from their past okay uh, but at least it does very good here in terms of creativity and in terms of having fun socializing writing uh, it loves to express its creativity okay it loves to communicate it loves to talk because venus is what you love and mercury's gemini energy is the energy which lets you communicate okay and then they can also become great writers and great uh, public speakers if they have this sign okay uh, if they have this venus placed in gemini so that is excellent for venus okay except the part that they can be very fickle minded when it comes to uh, maintaining maintaining the relationship okay now apart from that if you take saturn capricorn is a quite a rigid sign okay it is the sign of duty commitment structure hard work okay so here venus becomes very practical okay venus here loves to work okay the person can be also a workaholic with this placement or the wife of the person or the husband of the girl okay and then what happens when this placement is there is these people like to work for long hours for long 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 time okay and they can be very much practical very down to earth they have humility also so venus here uh, does things in a very practical level they will not uh, maybe expect their spouse to bring uh, them rose or chocolates every day okay maybe they may expect once in a while once in a blue moon but they will not expect too much they're very realistic in their expectations so that is a very good sign for venus to be in 
and then Aquarius is again another art sign Venus does fabulous there it can talk about new ideas talk about new skills talk about everything that it likes and it can also implement and they love to do things which are uh, not very much social or their partner can be from a different religion different caste different community okay because Rahu co rules Aquarius okay and their creativity can be something which nobody has done earlier okay they can be a bit uh, different when it comes to their approach of relationships okay they may find themselves liking people from different caste different community different culture okay and they are very much humanitarian they will love to do social work etc now if you take the sign of virgo for mercury uh, i mean placement of venus in virgo it is unfortunately considered its debilitation sign because uh, venus here in virgo becomes very much particular about uh, choosing you know, what it wants and what it should expect okay they are very much particular about how the relationship should be or how the other person should be but the problem is people are not the way we expect them to be people are themselves right so these people can have difficulty in accepting people in relationships and virgo is also the sign of expectation so at times it is also seen that these people can have sky high expectations okay because virgo is that perfect virgin so they might want a person who is not perfect but they have very high expectations okay and Virgo is also the natural sign of disputes the original sixth house of the zodiac so if somebody's Venus is placed in Virgo then it can also mean that these people can have difficulty balancing themselves in life because Venus Libra energy is all about balance okay so they might go to extremes they might all the time run behind the opposite sex or they may say we do not need them at all okay so these kind of challenges can come okay on the other hand i have uh, seen that they are sometimes a bit practical with the relationships which is uh, okay these days i mean because then you are quite you don't have much expectation but, but it depends i've also seen people who say my partner should be like this he should be like that okay so it depends on other planets also but primarily the main issue for venus in virgo is they have difficulty balancing their things in life so when it comes to relationships they either go on the extremes they only listen to the partner or they never listen to the partner these traits can come up or your husband or your wife can have these traits okay and depending on which house venus is ruling that all will also alter the effects now if we come to mercury mercury in the sign of taurus okay for venus because taurus and libra are art signs and air signs ruled by venus so mercury does fabulous in taurus it likes to hold wealth okay it likes to capture things it likes to capture knowledge education information okay it can have long capacity for information retention these people are very intelligent for mundane matters okay because taurus is a sign of hoarding wealth and hoarding assets similarly in libra it does fabulous mind blowing because it is the sign of business and mercury also represents business right so it can do negotiations dealings especially if it is in uh, the nakshatra of swati okay and it can be very much progressive towards giving new deals new options and doing new things okay opening new ventures because mercury's energy flows very properly in libra okay and then in capricorn mercury becomes very disciplined he says whatever i have read i will structure it down i will write it properly and then i will execute it as per plan okay and it focuses on putting down the knowledge it has into practical action because capricorn is the sign of action and in Aquarius also it does fabulous the great researchers can be seen great scientists okay great people who have written things who which are uh, which connect to people in a different way because Aquarius is a bit different sign it's a sign which is ruled by co-ruled by Rahu so these people also work okay they have great ideas and they also earn money through sources which are uh, which if the other people see they may think oh how, how is this also a way of earning money 
but then they say yes it is and what's the problem if you cannot like this yes because mercury is money and they like to make friends from people who are in foreign culture different caste community or religion okay and uh, they love to talk about different ideas about innovative ideas which have changed the world because mercury is all ideas and innovation and thinking okay it's your thinking process thought process and then saturn saturn gets exalted in the sign of libra as we have already discussed earlier because libra is the sign of balance and saturn in libra simply means that these people are very good in balancing different actions of their life they prioritize things properly and then they give every thing every uh, activity of their life their proper due okay they don't take extremes okay they are very much balanced with every action going to the gym doing their meditation reading the holy books going to work okay celebrating parties going out with their spouse for dinner or for anything and then having friends okay every action of their life is very balanced okay so that is why saturn gets exalted in libra and in taurus also saturn does very good it becomes very much it slows down more even okay and it properly executes the duties which it wants to do the person towards money and then these people can do very good now if they open some kind of a food business or something because uh, they can uh, they can earn their resources because taurus is about food and hotel and all, all those eating stuff basically and these people can also go to the bollywood industry or so and so or any industry like that for example uh, the great uh superstar amitabh bachchan from india he has his saturn which is his lagna lord placed in the fourth house in the sign of taurus because he's a aquarius ascendant okay so because taurus is what taurus is the sign of venus so it also represents uh acting cinema and all this okay and saturn becomes very disciplined there it will work and that is why amitabh bachchan is known as the angry young man uh, angry that person angry man so and because his voice is also very grave okay he's very serious and very 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 grave because that saturn energy is there saturn is that old mature person who is like yes we will do this now and then in libra already it gets exalted as i said great for business great great for deals negotiations and then in gemini also saturn does relatively well saturn becomes very strict about the communication okay these people can do good in areas where communication is required and where we need sustenance for a long term okay uh, and where we need to plan things regarding uh, our energy which deals with communication marketing etc for example uh making a proper plan structure of how to do marketing or how to do how to improve your business how to uh how to get things done quickly okay so these people can plan perfectly and uh, they are very good executors because saturn is the planet of execution ultimately okay it is not like uh, mars which just says we will do and then later he may or may not do okay and then in virgo also saturn does excellent because it is the sign of details and it is the sign of accounting and being very specific being very detail oriented so uh, saturn here can do good very much good if the person goes into uh, fields like accounting or even social work is also seen because virgo is the original sixth house of social work of giving service to others and saturn is also representing the poor people okay so saturn in virgo the people i have seen great uh, people who can work for very long okay very 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 long time these people can work just like saturn placed in capricorn they can work for very long and similarly saturn in placed in virgo these people can also work for very long okay and they can do great social service okay so that's it from my side if you have still not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to it and before ending as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there okay so if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know in the comment section and if you want to see any video from your side or know anything about any about any other planet or anything else which you have not understood in my earlier videos about which the series i have made then 
please let me know in the comment section okay and click in the notifications button so that you keep getting the updates okay every day until next time bye bye see you